10 signs that show you are a woman of elegance. My wonderful elegant ladies, welcome back to another video. My name is Vivian. I am the founder of Woman of Elegance, which is a platform I've created to help women globally become the most elegant, classy and refined women that they can be. We have a lot to get through today, so stay with me as I take you through some detailed points and some secrets that will ensure that you continue maintaining that elegance about you. Point number one, you look classy and feminine always. Don't judge a book by its cover, they say. But whether we like it or not, we can't help but acknowledge the fact that appearance matters a whole lot. People will always relate with you, form their first impression of you and who you are and judge you by the way you look. That's just the way life is. As they say, you are addressed the way you dress. So yes, looks matter in this regard. If you take pride in your appearance, you always dress neatly, take your body grooming seriously and appear to be put together at all times, it's a sign that shows you are a woman of elegance and you respect yourself. We all know that elegance is not just about looks and dressing up, but being classy and modest in appearance, having elegant poise and refined decorum introduces you as an elegant woman long before you even get a chance to speak or exhibit any character traits. As a woman of elegance, you know how to look good and dress appropriately for the occasion and you always try to keep your appearance elegant all round. From your outfits to your hair to your makeup and your nails, everything is chic, classy and modest. You love to dress in feminine clothes and your outfits fit very well. Elegant physical appearance includes dressing decently, having correct posture, smelling good, having a friendly disposition, holding a confident smile for the people you meet and wearing an aura of confidence. Point number two, you are neither rude or uncouth in your speech and behaviour. Elegant ladies speak well. When you hear a woman of elegance talk, there is this distinct fluidity, eloquence and articulation that you can't help but notice. You might not be an extrovert or much of a talker naturally, but whenever you open your mouth to speak, you exude gentle wisdom, thoughtfulness and class. You don't talk carelessly, you speak clearly and you choose your words intentionally. You have mastered the art of expressing yourself articulately and you can make a point without jumbling your sentences or using empty fillers or endless slang. Most commendably, you don't use profane words or resorts to vulgarities to express your emotions. In fact, if you have mastered the art of speaking without injecting swear words and unprintable expletives into your speech, you have set yourself apart from the herd of women who are not elegant and can't speak elegantly. Also, you know how to and you do treat people with respect. You make people that come in contact with you feel valued and appreciated without downplaying your own worth. Not that you berate yourself and your abilities in order to make others feel superior, no. Rather, you cherish people. You understand everyone has something good to offer and you draw out the best in people. You have no room for negativity and you don't entertain negativity. Point number three. You're independent. A woman of elegance is independent. Even though she may have a strong support system and people she can fall back on, she prefers to take care of herself and avoids hanging on to anyone for survival. If you work hard to live life on your terms without waiting for hand-me-downs or relying on another person for your daily bread, if you make your own honest living and you don't believe in having to hang onto a man like a leech, or depend on anyone for your upkeep, then that is a sign that you are an elegant woman. This does not mean that you don't accept help or you don't allow your man to buy you gifts or to take care of your bills. However, you strive to be responsible for your own upkeep. 
You never dump it completely on anybody. You choose to be whole, responsible for yourself, and you won't depend on others to make you happy. In a relationship, when you allow your man to offset some bills or you receive gifts from him, you do so to empower him and to bring out the best in him. You understand that naturally a man is born with the instincts to provide for and protect his mate. Therefore you deliberately try to allow him to be your hero from time to time. You can foot the bill but you know he feels relevant and happy when you allow him to pay for it and so you just hold back and graciously allow him to be the man. Nevertheless you don't task anyone or set them up as your bill paying machine. Point number four, you know when to talk and when to be silent. A woman of elegance is a woman who understands that there is a time to talk and a time to stay silent. She knows that silence is golden and that she can actually speak volumes just by keeping quiet. If you are tactful, considerate of the impact your words could have on another person and you are aware of social cues, you know when to speak up and you know when to stay silent, you are obviously a woman of elegance. Tact is a wonderful attribute that every elegant woman possesses. It comes by you practicing kindness and discipline and applying emotional intelligence in your dealings with others. Your words and the way you speak is a mirror that reflects who you are. It reflects your personality and your identity. And so a woman of elegance watches her language and tries not to speak carelessly. Being aware of your personality traits, for example, your strengths and your weaknesses, and being in tune with your emotions enables you to gain and master control over your words. It helps you to watch your language and to understand that perhaps sometimes you should refrain from saying certain things. How you express yourself, your choice of words and your timing can undermine or elevate your elegant status. Whether offline or online, a woman of elegance doesn't give it to others hot hot, <laughs> reacting vocally to every situation and lashing out at everyone. She knows there is an appropriate place and time to express how she feels or thinks. She also knows when to allow silence to do the talking. Point number five, you are kind to others and considerate of their feelings. If you're in the habit of being kind to people, taking other people's feelings into consideration and empathizing with others, then kudos, thou art a woman of elegance. Kindness dictates most actions of the woman of elegance. She thinks of her actions and how it may affect the other person. She looks out for the good and welfare of another person without playing the victim or the sacrificial lamb. It's this kindness and empathy that makes you speak courteously, treat people with respect, reach out to offer your assistance to those who need it, helps people out with their problems, cares for others genuinely and seeks for ways to make the world a better place for all. Of course she can't do it on her own but she does what she can. It's actually kindness and kind consideration that powers your learning and helps you to comply with social manners and etiquette. You're interested in seeing others relaxed and comfortable around you and this is what etiquette is all about. You can choose to dump your handbag on the table, bury your head in the phone, heap all the spaghetti in the serving tray onto your plates and talk with food in your mouth. But because you wouldn't want to make others feel uncomfortable and would like to see everybody happy, you engage correct table manners. At the center of an elegant woman's kindness is genuine love and care for humanity. Your kindness is not a show off or for people to see your philanthropy and sing your praises, no. You show people kindness because you sincerely want to see them succeed and be better. Point number six, you don't idle away your time. You see, a woman who is always looking for opportunities to improve herself, she is a woman who knows what it means to be elegant. Your quest to bring out the best in you and become better today than you were yesterday is a sign that you're a fine, elegant lady. 
You don't spend all your time scrolling on social media, flipping through gossip tabloids to check who's dissing who, watching TV, spending hours on Netflix, hanging out with the girls and discussing irrelevant topics that add no value to your life. Not only do you value your precious time, you also know how to use it productively. You make a target list of the books you would like to read in a year, courses you must take, skills you would like to learn, useful and relevant goals to achieve, and you follow them through. You are a woman of elegance, my lady. You tick the boxes for elegance if you know how to use your time wisely and actually do so. A woman of elegance makes the most out of her time. To her, it's not all about work, work and more work. She balances her time well, making out adequate time for work, play, prayer, family, friends, personal interests, hobbies, community service and personal growth. Points number seven, you are confident in yourself without being arrogant. You have high self-esteem, you place utmost value on your person and know you are worth every good thing. You may have been through the trenches, but you don't allow what you've been through to define you or dictate your future. You may not be where you want to be, but you are walking towards your goals and you're working towards achieving them with confidence and your head held high. You try not to allow circumstances or your background, your account balance, pedigree or other people's perceptions and opinions about you affect how you feel about yourself. There are many women who are struggling with low self-esteem and this is seen in how low their confidence level is. When you get to that point where you recognise your worth and you have built a formidable self-esteem, your confidence increases naturally. Keep working on your confidence. It is a continuous process. Thinking highly of yourself does not equate to being arrogant or haughty. Stay humble, but feel secure and believe in yourself. You appear more classy and refined when you are comfortable in your own skin. Avoid comparing yourself to others. You are not in competition with anyone. Live above the petty and the childish competition. The only person you should strive to be better than is the you of yesterday. Point number eight, you can control yourself. This is one of the signs of an elegant woman most people can easily recognize. Your ability to control yourself, your emotions, your actions, your appetite and your tongue is a powerful trait that distinguishes you out as a woman of elegance. Knowing how to restrain yourself from acting mannerless when somebody pushes you to the wall, staying classy in the face of conflicts and provocations and being able to bite your tongue when somebody is trying to act out of place is a priceless quality every elegant woman strives to master. You can never catch an elegant woman fighting over freebies or shoving and pushing her way to grab free food or whatever at an event. Point number nine, your knowledge of current affairs is up to date. Talking with an elegant woman is refreshing, it's enlightening and it's entertaining. She knows how to hold conversations and is not at loss for what to contribute during a discussion. If you read extensively, broaden your knowledge of current affairs and follow up on local and global events, your knowledge is fitting for an elegant woman. Ensure you continually update your knowledge on important topics, cutting across several subjects, economics, arts, business, entertainment, commerce, science, technology, sports, the list goes on. Get properly informed. Information is power. Without it, you can't make any reasonable progress. Try to stay current and progressive in your knowledge in a range of subjects. The final point that shows you are a woman of elegance is point number 10. You avoid unnecessary emotional outbursts and drama online. Life happens both offline and online. In real life, you get to maintain your standards as an elegant woman in the type of people you admit into your space as friends. 
This isn't always the case online, as your social media circle may be made up of all sorts of people, both people you have met before and complete strangers whose names you've never heard. Your virtual friends may even consist of idle loafers and troublemakers who are looking to ruffle your feathers. Since you can't really tell who is who online, clashes, confrontations and misunderstandings can happen at the tap of a button. It takes real elegance and self-control to stay classy and out of trouble online. An innocent submission or tweet or whatever could turn into a full-blown keyboard war and you could misunderstand someone or be misunderstood at any time. A woman of elegance understands the sensitive and volatile nature of the social media world. You are truly elegant if you try to avoid all these calling outs, the rantings and the drama on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and what have you. An elegant woman no social media is no place to settle conflicts. Twitter users are not referees or judges and her personal business is not for entertaining strangers online so she maintains a high level of integrity. Ladies, as I've reiterated previously, keep your private matters private. Keep your urge to rant in check. Double check that post or picture before you click send. Ladies, I hope these 10 points were very clear. If you're exuding these qualities, an absolute well done to you. And if you're on your path of elegance, then I am here rooting for you. I'm here encouraging you and sending so much love. You can do it. And I'll be seeing you through to the end. Thank you very much for watching.